All right, I have to ask you this. Uh, last thing for you. Your fondest. We heard about, you know, you told us about you and Todd Harriman's uh, going fist to cuffs and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, what is your fondest memory of training camp? When you look back on it, I know there's a lot of bad stuff, a lot of hard stuff. When you look back on it, especially with the Eagles, what was your fondest uh, memory of training camp? Uh, shout out to my man, Hollis Thomas. He was my roommate. He was my pop mate. It was him and Trey. Okay. And dude, I'll never forget, like, every year, like clockwork, Hollis would bring porn <laughs> to, to, to training camp. He would bring these black tail magazines. Right? No, no, not Hollis. Of course. And Hollis <laughs> would always ask me, hey, man, be the one of these magazines. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, buddy, I'm good. <laughs> But dude, Hollis, Hollis is my man. Hollis used to do that every year, like it was a tradition. <laughs> hey, man, you need some, you need some, you need some visual stimulation. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> How did he have any energy for two a days? Hey man, listen, Hollis is a different cat. <laughs> Hollis is a different cat. <laughs> I mean, I've worked with Hollis plenty of times. Oh, Actually, the so the first show, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The first show he ever did at WIP was with me. Uh, uh, it was before Wing Bowl, and he came out to a bar I was at. And it was the only show where he didn't have his iPad up or his Surface up and just swiping just different photos of, like, ass, 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 just repeatedly. I, I like, this is what, like, I, this is how I know Hollis is okay. Because that's my boy. We, we talk quite a bit. Hollis will periodically send me pictures. Of big booty black women, <laughs> and sometimes you know it's it's like I don't know when to open. Like I'm afraid. Like sometimes I'm afraid to open his email or his text when I'm at work because I don't know what I'm gonna get. But that's my man, and I, I just sit. I just I just say good googly moogly. He'll laugh because he gets at this point. It's funny. Oh yeah, you know and for him it's funny. Oh sure. He'll do it, and I'm like. Like, it's been a couple times I've opened it up, and I'm like, oh, my God. And they're like, what are you looking at? I'm like, no, no, it's a friend of mine. He sent it to me, and I have to explain myself. Right. No, it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, <laughs> okay, you're a weirdo. No, I'm not. Really, I'm not. I promise you. I'm not. I'm not. I know this is a weird situation, <laughs> but. <laughs> well, he told, he told the story. He told the story about the big box of porn that they used to share, apparently, at the vet with the Phillies players. Yeah, I, listen. He was there way before me. I've heard stories like man, okay. the, the the stories are are phenomenal. <laughs> you know, Philadelphia is phenomenal. But yeah, that that's one of my memories that I have. Like that's like, beautiful. <laughs> Hollis kept the visual stimulation. He he <laughs> kept the visual stimulation.